Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday. We did not get much sleep because we were out tearing up the town, but I'm back to school clothes. So before we do anything today, we're gonna do a fashion show, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys what we bought, what kind of style the girls are into right now, and what they're gonna wear this fall. Don't show me show. Oh, don't look at her shirt. Her shirt. Anyway, there are a few things we did not get, um, like pajamas that we absolutely need to go back out and get, um, and a few things that we'll probably pick up along the way as the weather gets colder. It looks like I'm just holding my head. Cause yeah, I'm you're hardly head. holding your head because your head is pushing so hard no, on my head. Like, I'm holding your head. Ew. What? In the camera, <laughs> it not. looks like my head is like detached from my body. And I'm now, I'm my now I'm squished. Now I'm See, look at it. Yes. Now I'm squished with both of you guys. You're squishing my head. All right, on with the fashion show. All right, first up in today's fashion show is Sophia. Next up is Gabby and she is ultra cool in her new shirt that she got from Stitches. got these cute little rips. Sophie also got some cute little sports bras, two white ones and a black one of which she's wearing. Okay, so Gabby has a brand new outfit here. All of this is from Stitches. She got this. Except for the socks. She got this adorable unicorn shirt, shirt and it says, still magical, and it's got those peekaboo sleeves that she loves. She put over top of that this adorable black jacket, and it's got zippers everywhere. It's got leather sleeves. It's got a fitted kind of bottom. time we added some color to Gabby's fall wardrobe and we'll start at the top. I think these are all from the stitches. Next up for Sophia is another navy and gray. My Last outfit of the day for Gabby, and basically she just got another pair of jeans. Super cute. Last but not least for Sophia, she got another 
little cute dress. It says, I love mutts. So but Gabby is eyeing up the fan mail, aren't ya? We are super excited to get opening our letters from you guys, and we're gonna do that right now. Mail haul! Hey Sophie, my name is Holly. So Sophie, that's a great first pen pal. We're doing pen pal letters today, guys, no, in homeschool. So thank you so much, Holly, for sending us that letter. You just earned your spot as pen pal of the month. So Gabby, Sophie is gonna be writing you a letter and we'll be Wait, mailing Holly? it out this week. something in this. <laughs> it's a paper clip. Oh my goodness, let's see that. We're gonna save that. That is cool. It is a cute little horsey paper OMG. clip. There's two letters in here. Dear Day by Day family. Um, hi, my name is Rosalyn. Thanks, Rosalyn. I'm pretty sure that I've connected with you online in the past, but thank you so much for mailing the girls that amazing letter and the paper clip. It's probably gonna be something that they fight over for this entire day. It is super cool. I am Equestrian. For life. I can't. That name looks sounds familiar to me. Yeah, I've seen it. So this is from a nine-year-old Genevieve. She lives in Florida and she rides horses too. She's been riding for three years and she would love to be both of your pen pals. Thank you so much for taking the time to send them that awesome letter. Dear Sophia, my name is Linia. Lelani. Yes. Um, please write back. No. Oh my god, Dickie! Okay. Oh my gosh. Aww, adorable. Wait, so she posted all of these adorable stickers on here, and that definitely <coughs> looks like Ziggy. I went to school. Uh, I ripped the letter a little bit. Oh, I didn't see it. Gabby failed. Oh! Oh, wow. That is so cool. this letter is from Oh man. <laughs> Kiri. She I says Oh my god, blankets. I got one. Oh. This way, she says, hi, day by day. My name is Kiri and I'm 12 years old. I'm from Alberta. It's full of horses. I've been riding for three years and I ride English too but have read and written Western and I love both. I've explained my riding level, but I'm pretty much the same level as Gabby. All right, so let's see what Kiri sent you guys. So a cute little bag. <coughs> oh, is that what you've been wanting, Gabby? Uh, yeah, I need it. So what are they I've called? I've seen them before. I don't know. I think they're like keychains. Okay. They are keychains, I think. They are super cute. Jump, jump kit. This is a jump kit? Yes. That is cool. Willowwood Stables. Oh, that's so cool. And it's personalized. It says Willowwood Stables on it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's hot. So, then so we can't build it right now. So we'll but build this in I'm a little bit. I'm glad that she actually put instructions. Yeah, so she sent us jump instructions for the jump kit. That is super cool. Oh, those keychains are homemade. These are homemade keychains. What the heck? Aren't they so pretty? Yeah. So it you looks like keep she sent you some homemade keychains, a uh, homemade Schleich blanket and hay net. Oh, okay. Uh, and a homemade jump. Okay. A homemade jump kit. And a little bag, which I really love. She recently sold all of her Schleich, so she sent us some accessories. Girls and I are at Walmart. We are shopping. Back That's what happens forth. when you do homeschool. Is as soon as you're done, you can just leave the house and go wherever you want, get all your shopping done, and then Guys, chill for the whole night. Look at my face, it's red splotches. Sophie's been exercising too much. She's all blotchy. Gabby. Yeah, Gabby and I don't I blotch. Wait, why am I mom love? What? Why am I mom love? You're German and Italian. 
I'm more of... You look German. More German than Italian, and I'm more Italian than German. What did you find, Sophia? Uh, a milk can go down close. Stable? Wow, Stable. it is the coolest thing. Oh my gosh. It's a massive. How many hearts he will obviously do? We have horses that would no, fit in there. The in there. We have horses, those big, huge horses of ours would fit in I there. Know, but this bowl can. Comes with a wheelbarrow so you can put their food in. And it is cool. And some carrots and a rake in there. Oh, and have... letters so that you could. Right here, like. Oh, that is super cool. It's oh, the yeah. first time we've seen that. I do not want to buy that for Christmas. I'm gonna on my we have no room in our house for that. What you got? Score McFlurry. Score McFlurry. It's my favorite kind of chocolate bar in the whole world. Isn't it your? Is it your favorite kind of chocolate bar? It's my Crunchy. favorite. What'd you get, Missy? That's why I was sitting. Sophie hates ice cream. I don't know how it happened. I didn't think any of my kids could ever hate ice cream. Did it give you a bellyache? Before we're here at Walmart shopping, we thought we'd have just a little snack before we head home, right? We are home from shopping. Did you have fun shopping? Uh, I just like candy. Yeah. She just liked the treat. Sophie is all about the treats. Anyway, we went to Walmart because we wanted to find some really fun stuff for you guys. We wanted to find some really nice um, paper to write our letters on to send back our pen pal letters. And we wanted to find some kind of little horsey thing to put in our letters too and we couldn't find anything. So that's gonna have to be a weekend thing for us to figure out. But Sophie wrote a letter back to her pen pal today, her first pen pal. Didn't you? Did you did you like it? It was relaxing. Yeah. No one just scream at you. No walking. Yeah, it was so quiet. You could hear a pin drop when they were both writing letters, pen pal letters. It was so quiet and relaxing. And Sophie said, oh, "I'm actually enjoying this, right?" Yeah, because I was almost done. Yeah. Normally she doesn't like to do a lot of writing, but she did awesome. So I messaged a riding coach and asked her if, if there was any update on the Ziggy thing. Is there? We're so nervous. We're like so ready. Like I we think just we wanna didn't get him. So the update on Ziggy <clears throat> is that there's no update. She hasn't heard any single thing yet. Phew. Phew, I know. I said, okay, that's no problem. No news is good news. That's my thought process. Basically, um, she only has them at that barn until the end of this month. So if she, so the lady has to tell her something. So I, that makes me a little more encouraged. I feel like I'm getting signs that we're not going to get to lease them though. But it could just be my nerves. What do you think? But we did got a letter today that had like all the stickers on it. There's a Ziggy there. Yeah, that's true. One of our pen pals, one of you guys sent us a letter and it had a Ziggy sticker on it. So that's a good sign too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Comment of the day goes to Sing Loudly Girl 991. And her comment is, I don't get to tack up the horses where I go. You done so well for your first time. Great vlog, love you guys. And I wanted to pick that comment because I wanted to tell you guys that at our old barn, we did not get to tack up or do any hands-on, any groundwork at all, did we? No, it was terrible, and that's what the girls want to do. They want to have, they want to have a relationship with the horse, and that really helps. So that's one of the reasons why we love this barn. And something crazy happened today. Somebody came to our house and was asking us questions about horses, and this person knows absolutely nothing about horses, and I pretty much know nothing about horses, but I knew so much stuff about horses compared to this guy. I could answer so many questions and I knew stuff, everything that he was talking about. I was like, wow, I am actually learning. And it is mostly thanks to you guys and to you and to Sophie because you guys are teaching me and it might seem like I don't know anything and I'm completely clueless, but it's obvious to me today that I am learning. I am learning so much. And yeah, I just wanted to put that out there that even though I'm not perfect and we don't know everything yet, it's a process and we are learning and we're committed to learning as much as we can. So um, that's it for today and we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to call and check on Bailey Bird at his new home and see how he's doing. See if he's missing us so much and I have to go and rescue him. Right. Just kidding. Obviously I'm not going to rescue him. But we are going to call tomorrow and see how he's doing. So we'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe.
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.